Data miners have recently found four other Halo Online maps within the current Halo MCC flight build. These maps being some classic remakes as well as some completely original maps. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe on the channel people. Let's get right into the content here. So the initial release of the Halo MCC flight that's currently going on right now has been received rather well, especially with the two new maps that have been added into Halo 3, being Waterfall and Edge. So seeing these maps in with Halo 3 as well as some new armor sets as well really opens the door to what kind of more content we could see throughout the coming seasons in Halo MCC and actually some data miners recently found some extra files of some more Halo online maps that are most likely going to be coming into Halo 3. So let's jump right into this content here. So the first map we'll review, which I'm sure many of you have seen, is the map Diamondback, which is a remake of Avalanche, which is kind of a spiritual remake of Sidewinder from CEs. Instead of it being a avalanche, snowy kind of environment, they changed it to a more desert kind of environment with this map. But they also came with a few changes as well, but it still stays rather faithful to the original. So there are five major changes, like I mentioned earlier, that the desert environment instead of a snowy environment right there. Uh, they also have some minor terrain changes that have been made such as the placement of hills and some rocks but nothing too different compared to the original because I did play this a lot back when El Dorito was really popular. The man cannons are much smaller than Avalanche and they are actually a human design instead of a forerunner design. The buildings and bases on the map are also in a human design instead of forerunner and the map is placed on a moon instead of installation 08. And like I said, there are some changes to the geometry. It's not a 100% recreation of Avalanche, but I'd say it's like a 95, 99% recreation. It's very faithful to the original. And when I played it back during El Dorito on PC, it just felt like I was playing Avalanche, but in a desert format. So it'd be really cool to see this come into the game. Before we continue on any further, I do want to do a quick shout out. If you scroll below this video, it'll take you to a link to Teespring. This is a store that we have set up for some merchandise that are linked to this channel as well. So if you guys do so choose to go check out the page, I would really appreciate it. And also if you have anything you'd like, say like t-shirts, mugs, phones, yeah, the hoodie, hoodies we have as well on top of maybe even a flag if you want to wave your Kevin Kulak's pride so much right there. Uh, so any kind of purchases, I do get a significant kickback on. So if you guys want to support your Halo content creators, this is a great way to do it as well. And if you buy anything and you want to share it, share it to me on social, you'll get definitely get a chance to be put into a video. So guys, check out the link in the description down below. So let's get right back to some Halo news. The next map we're going to take a look at is the map Reactor. This is a map strictly made for Halo Online. That's a BTB style map as well. It's a symmetrical map with an emphasis on Warthog gameplay, but there is still a good amount of gun-on-gun -gun gameplay inside the central building area as well. I did have a chance to play on this map quite a bit during El Dorito, and it was one of the better maps that was in the playlist of maps you can collect and play around with. Now, it definitely feel like it kind of lended itself better to with Sprint in mind when it came to the gameplay, because at least when I was playing it, Sprint was enabled. Though with BTB, I think that this map will play out just fine when it comes to having no sprint within the game. You'll find most of the vehicle battles happening on the outside grassy areas, as I believe there's really just like a Warhog and I think a Ghost and stuff like that, but there's a rocket launcher that's in the center kind of area in the grassy field portion, but inside in the interior where the reactor is, it's much more gun on gun play. There's an overshield in there. It has some interesting elevation changes and, and some platforms you can utilize for jumps and stuff like that. So this is gonna be a map I'm really looking forward to. Definitely will be doing a breakdown, much like I did with my waterfall breakdown as well when it comes to the release of this map in MCC. The next map we'll look at is the map Skybridge. Now I did take a look over this map in some of the other maps I covered in a previous video talking about a similar topic, but this one showcases that these are pretty much almost all, all but confirmed. But this video showcases that all these maps are all but confirmed to be coming into Halo 3 at some point, maybe just throughout the next few seasons or so. But this next map we're talking about is Skybridge. 
Skybridge is a pretty interesting map as well. This map is actually a cut content map from Halo Online, so we actually really haven't had a chance to play on this one. It is fully modeled out. I'm sure 343 does need to do some testing and probably some fixes like we're having to do with Waterfall right now. But right now, from the images that we see on screen right now, that this map does look pretty much ready to go. Just probably needs a few play tests and stuff like that. It does say that the layout of the map is very similar to Jephyrophobia, if that's how you pronounce it correctly, from Halo Combat Evolved PC, as well as Narrows on top of that. Kind of falls in line with the Sky Bridge name as well right there. The map also does feature man cans, a warhog, mongoose, and a banshee with some fuel rods and turrets placed. So this most likely is also going to be a BTB map. This map is actually placed in an interesting location of, let me make sure I pronounce this correctly, Seonnam of Korea, which is South Korea. Which within Halo lore, that location is UNSC's Special Warfare Center testing ground for military hardware. And the last map we'll take a look at here, which I know a lot of you people have been leaving comments i've been reading the comments you guys have been talking about this map a lot and i think a lot of people are going to be very excited about this one as well and it is the remake of turf from halo 2 and it's called icebox turf is one of the most iconic maps from halo 2 uh, my personal favorite swat map as well so this would actually probably play out really well on top of that for halo 3 and there actually are some changes with this map as well as you can definitely see that it's more much more of a snowy kind of setting along with this saying that the setting has changed from Mombasa to Russia where the scarab crashed into the map right there it's actually been removed and it's actually just some rubble that's in that location now some locations are blocked off by energy shields instead of walls and as a whole a lot of the buildings have a different visual look to them as well so it'll be really exciting to see turf essentially come back into Halo for Halo 3 but yeah, this map essentially just plays out just like the Halo 2 version. I mean, you still have the Warhog, you still have the sniper rifles and all the same kind of weapons and all the same locations, except it just looks way better. So if these maps come into Halo 3, that would make all the Halo Online maps that are unique to Halo Online available in Halo 3, which would just be an amazing addition. When will we see these come into the game? I think over time we will. I think maybe each season I'll bring in two maps as a whole. So probably you'll see some season seven content like diving back and maybe like Earth come into the game. And then maybe with season eight, you'll see Reactor and Skybridge. They'll have some new content and have it become much more of a drip of content instead of having it all at once because it would leave the next few seasons feeling a little lackluster. But as soon as we have any official information about these additional maps coming into MCC, you guarantee I'll be making a video for you guys to check out. So if you missed any content from me recently or been out of the loop of Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.